What's poppin' YouTube? Grizzly Skull 950. It's been a while again. Been a bit burnt out on covering fake rumors and leaks. E3's only a month away. After all, these are desperate times, so people are willing to put out anything to stir up hype or frustration, depending on how you look at it. However, these recent articles on Junichi Masuda teasing a Pokemon Switch announcement in the near future makes me even more pumped for the actual reveal more than ever. If you enjoy my content, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, comment, follow my Twitter link in the description. Support always greatly appreciated. It goes without saying that Pokemon on the Switch is one of the most anticipated products that has yet to be seen. A year later after its reveal, Musuda publicly teased at a random fan event in Tokyo that those who did not own a Pokemon Switch should consider getting one soon. What does this mean? We all know that Pokemon Switch is set to release in either 2018 or later. Does this hint at a 2018 release? I sure hope so. Even though it would mean we got a main core Pokemon RPG delivered to us three years straight, we got Sun and Moon 2016, Ultra Sun and Moon last year and this year, potentially Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch. But regardless, we can expect a Pokemon announcement either it be a Direct or at E3. Although I still find it tricky for them to reveal this at E3, giving everything else has been confirmed, Smash, Splatoon, it would be intrusive on the hype stemming from these franchises. I don't know, the wait is coming to a close. I'm ready for it to finally come. The gameplay trailers, the consistent updates on the Pokemon website. Man, I could rewatch all those Sun and Moon trailers and still feel the hype that was generated for them. Even Ultra Sun and Moon, hoping for that hype to be replicated soon with the unveiling of a new generation. That's right, I'm still holding out hope and despite all these Instances of cancel, remakes, reboots, and all that, I'm still holding out hope for a Generation 8 to be the start of Pokemon on the Switch. The community is divided between Gen 8, cancel reboot, Gen 4 remakes, all that. I almost wish they could deliver it all at once so that everyone will have some satisfaction for Pokemon on the Switch, but that's nonsensical unless we get multiple regions which seems like too easy a solution, I don't know, and it could potentially push the Nintendo Switch to its limit, which might be the intention, whatever that could be. It all depends on time allocated to development and the Switch capacity. With that, I'm out. Leave your thoughts down below. Thank you all so very much for watching. Have yourselves a good one. Peace out.